In this video, I will explain the basic usage of the Mixamo rig. In upcoming videos, I will cover more advanced animations, but in this video, I've prepared practical tips as a guide for someone who has never used the Mixamo rig before. Let's get started. First, we need a 3D character. For this, I'll use a website I frequently visit, Rodin 3D. It's a suitable place for creating characters. I like this character here, so I clicked on it. To create or download a character from Rodin, you first need to sign up for a free account. I'll download this character as an FBX file. I go to my Downloads folder and rename the file to Character. In the second part, I'll go to the Mixamo website to auto-rig my character. You can either select your file from here or simply drag and drop the .zip file. My character is now uploading. It's being processed here at Island. As you can see, my character is ready for rigging. Now I'll place the joints quickly. Done, the character is now fully rigged and moving. However, you can see that in the arm area, the mesh intersects with the body. We'll fix this issue during the animation process. Now, let's move on to animations. What should this character do? I chose this animation as an example. As you can see, the arms are passing through the body. To fix this, we adjust the arm spacing. Now, the arms no longer intersect with the body. I set the arm spacing to 90. We'll apply this to the other animations as well. Let's try a walk animation first. Here's one. As you can see, the character is walking. Great, we can adjust posture, etc., as needed. But since we're going with a simplest example, let's just stick to a regular walk. I chose this walk animation. Yes, the character is walking nicely now, but pay attention to the arm spacing. We need to set it to 90 again. Yes, now it works. As you can see, no more mesh intersections. Now we download this walking animation. Choose with skin when downloading. We always download the first animation with skin. For the rest, downloading just the armature will be enough. Okay, the first animation is downloaded. I rename it by adding one at the beginning. Now we'll download one more animation. Let's choose this one, for example. Again, I adjust the arm spacing to 90. As you can see, Everything is going smoothly. All right, now I'm downloading this animation as well. Once again, I'll download it with skin because soon I want to demonstrate the retarget animation process clearly. The animation download is now complete. Finally, we need to download the Mixamo rig add-in. There's an important detail here. If you download it using Safari, it will automatically unzip the file. In that case, you'll need to rezip it manually before installing. This issue doesn't happen when using Chrome. However, if you download it with Chrome and get a loading error in Blender, it might have been zipped twice. If that happens, just unzip once and install the resulting .zip file again. Now that everything is ready, we can return to Blender. Let's install the add-on first. To do this, go to the Edit menu, then click on Preferences. Make sure you're on the Add-ons tab. Then click on Install from Disk on the right side. I'm in my Downloads folder now. I select the zip file for the add-on. It installs automatically. So how do you confirm that the add-on is loaded? Just type Mixamo into the search bar, and you'll see that the add-on is installed. It shows up immediately in the list. And where is it in the interface? On the right side of the scene, press the N key and you'll see that the Mixamo tab is now available and ready to use. Finally, we're importing the animated character into Blender. To do this, go to File to Import to FBX. First, we'll import the walking animation. I zoom in a bit, there we go. Now, I'm gonna rig this character. To rig the character, I select the armature, 
then click on Create Control Rig. Make sure to include the animation as well. Click OK. All the rig controls for the character are now created. So the character is now fully rigged. How do we adjust it? From the left-hand menu, we switch to Pose Mode. Once in Pose Mode, I open the timeline. I prefer working with the timeline open. and move the character like this. Now I can make any adjustment I want. Everything is now fully movable. Now, for example, if I wanna rotate something, let's say I wanna move the head. I just press R for rotation and turn it this way. Of course, don't overdo it. See? Let's move on to the second part. I click Zero Auto Rig. This clears the animation for my character. Now, the character stays in a rigged state, but without animation. Next, we'll do the retargeting. First, we import the second animation into the scene. I move this new animation to the side using G and X keys. The animation belongs to the character on the left. Now, I wanna transfer that animation to my rigged character. Make sure you're in object mode. Click once on the rigged character to select it. In the Mixamo add-in, use the target selection eyedropper and click on the armature of the animated character. Make sure that the armature name of the animation source appears correctly. Finally, click apply animation. As you can see, the animation has been successfully transferred to the rigged character. Now both characters are moving together. That's it. And when you're ready to export, just click on export and save your character. Next up, we have another feature. Let's say you want to add movement within an existing animation. I switch back to pose mode and then activate the recording button in the timeline. At this point, our character is playing the animation as usual. Now I'll start editing the keyframes directly in the timeline. For example, let's say I want to raise the arm at this point. Just click on the relevant keyframe and make the adjustment you want. This way, you can go frame by frame and fine tune the animation exactly how you like. And finally, I want to show you how easy it is to animate a rigged character from scratch using the timeline completely independently. Let's create a simple jump animation. To do this, all you need is a basic understanding of Blender's movement shortcuts. For example, use G to move, use R to rotate. If you want to move something along a specific axis, press the axis key right after the G or R. That way the motion will only happen along that axis. For example, to move the legs along the x-axis, press G, then X, now the movement is locked to the x-coordinate. And just like that, we've created a simple animation in no time. So this was a summary of what you can achieve with the basic Mixamo rig. In the next video, you'll be amazed to see what's possible when we integrate our flagship tool Mixanemo Pro with Mixamo Rig and how it unlocks truly professional animation workflows. Stay tuned. With our sincere respect, thank you for watching.